Your whole world has fallen in. You feel alone, fearful. Imagine the moment you've been diagnosed with cancer. The consultant has given you clear information, but you can't hear him. This year in Ireland, 30,000 people will experience that traumatic moment. Many will not want to burden their family, friends, work colleagues. Others will be overwhelmed, unable to remember crucial details the consultant shared with them. One in three of us will develop cancer, and one in four of us will die from the disease. The Irish Cancer Society works to ensure that every person in Ireland will have access to the best possible cancer services, will have the lowest risk of getting cancer, the highest survival rates and the best support and information available. A diagnosis of cancer impacts every area of daily life, physically, emotionally, financially. Almost everyone will need somewhere very special to find support and help. That's why I want to tell you about our wonderful Daffodil Centres. Our Daffodil Centres are dedicated facilities located on the site of cancer hospitals, right at the heart of the patient experience. They also help patients, worried families and friends whenever and for however long they need us. Nothing like them has existed in Ireland before. Warm and inviting spaces run by experienced cancer nurses and supported by trained volunteers. A person can wander in, browse through quality information, but most crucially of all, chat to, with no appointment, a specialist professional in private, in confidence, on their own terms. The word cancer so often evokes fear, but the good news is it doesn't have to. Access to fit-for-purpose information, advice and support is essential for good decision-making right through the cancer journey. From the time that cancer is first suspected, through treatment, to recovery and in some cases to the end of life and bereavement. Daffodil Centres offer an oasis of informal, professional and personal support. The kind of caring, reliable support you can't get in cold print or on the internet or even within the confines of a pressured medical appointment. We want to build and provide these, not in the next decade, but right now, this year and next year. Visitors and professionals are telling us, in the most moving ways, how vital this service is for patients and their families, how it has turned things around, how it helped people cope. In many cases, our centres have also played a crucial role in referral and in prevention and early detection of all kinds of cancers. Every story of need is different. Sometimes it's about seeking hard information. Sometimes it's about clarifying a diagnosis or treatment. And sometimes it's just about a fragile emotional release away from family and routine. Each year, 30,000 people with cancer and their families in a time of deep crisis and turmoil could need a Daffodil Centre. This wonderful idea is working. The model is simple and deliverable. The need is great and pressing. Thank you so much.